A portion of this video is sponsored by Qualcomm Technologies, Inc. So for anyone wanting a better and more affordable iPhone, the wait might not be so bad. SCS, if you're waiting for the new iPhone SE, we finally have a timeline for it, and it doesn't look so bad, but notice I'm talking dates. Uh, we get the first glimpse into the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 with a list of updates that's kind of crazy. And if you haven't upgraded your PC to Windows 11 just yet, well, don't worry, because no one has. I'm Jaime Rivera, and yes, the 10 is a clear indication it's day one of Hawaii at Qualcomm Snapdragon Summit. This is Parker Now Daily. The official news today begin with Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Listen, grab some popcorn as we have a lot of ground to cover. This isn't just a more simplified name, but an evolution in four key pillars, camera, AI, gaming, and connectivity. The camera changes are so dramatic, we now get a new brand. It's called Snapdragon Sight, which is their first 18-bit ISP. We're talking 4,000 times more data capture, meaning a crazy 240 uh, 12-megapixel shots a second in human terms. This enables other benefits like 4K bokeh video, mega night mode improvement, Improvements and 8K HDR video capture, which is one of many worlds first with this platform. Another one is that this would be the first ISP to remain always on for quicker reaction. Now, as for AI, this being Qualcomm's seventh generation engine and also third generation sensing hub, it's twice as fast. Aside from the photography benefits like enhanced face detection, it improves natural language processing, pushes gaming to super resolution, and enables a partnership with Leica for pro quality photos. Now, speaking of Snapdragon Elite Gaming, the re-architectured Adreno GPU brings a 30% boost in graphics while being 25% more power efficient, all while supporting essentials like Unreal Engine 5 and true 10-bit HDR gaming. And as for connectivity, this fourth generation Snapdragon X65 modem enables the world's first 10 gigabit 5G modem RF solution. It also pushes Wi-Fi speeds further and its Bluetooth capabilities enable CD quality lossless wireless audio through Snapdragon Sound. I know, I need a full separate dedicated video just to go into every detail, so just make sure you follow the first link in the description for all technical details, as this just scratches the surface for this Snapdragon 8. Now, how about if we uh, switch gears to Microsoft, and more importantly, Windows 11, and no. Sadly, the Android applications aren't ready yet. And it looks like the company is off to a rocky start with their latest operating system. If you haven't been paying attention, they released a stable version of Windows 11 over a month ago. And even with all the headlines they made, it looks like adoption is very low. According to a report from TechRadar, citing an IT management firm called Landsweeper, only 0.21% of all Windows users have updated their PCs to Windows 11. And that's even with this being a free update if you have Windows 10. Apparently this was made based on more than 10 million Windows devices running on both business and home networks. And the most hilarious part is that the report is claiming that there's fewer numbers running Windows 11 than there are right now running Windows XP. Like, ouch. Uh, with that one being 0.95% uh, of devices. So yeah, this firm is recommending you upgrade to at least Windows 10 because all the other versions are no longer receiving security patches and this could pose a security threat. Let us know in the comments if you guys have upgraded your PC and if you haven't, tell us why. And sticking to official news, let's talk Apple and believe it or not, the newest MacBook Pros. If you haven't seen my review, I highly recommend that you do because I'm not too impressed and it looks like it's not sunshine and rainbows for everyone. Mac Rumors uh, has spotted quite a few Reddit users that are experiencing charging issues with their new 16 inch MacBook Pros and the problems seem to be related to the MagSafe connector. According to their complaints, the MagSafe wire won't charge their laptop if it's turned off or if the lid is closed. When the issue happens, the MagSafe cable flashes an amber colored light. Now a few users have talked to Apple support about it and in some cases, they've even gotten an entire MacBook replaced. 
least. Not all of them have found success though. Uh, and here's the thing, there are some videos going around showing what the issue looks like, but it's still pretty unclear if it's the cable, the power brick, or the computer causing this. So far, we haven't gotten any statements from Apple on the matter, but if people are getting the entire computer replaced, I mean, it's something to worry about. And here's the thing, I haven't had those issues, but I have noticed that the MagSafe connector is pretty picky about the adapter you use. So that's interesting. And finally, for the hottest news today, let's talk about Apple and a phone that's been in the rumors for quite some time now, the new iPhone SE. I mean, last month we got some developments claiming that we could expect it uh, sometime during the first half of next year, and it looks like that will be the case. A new report from TrendForce claims that Cupertino is planning to release the third generation of the iPhone SE in Q1 of 2022. Apparently this new device uh, should be a major instrument in helping Apple establish more of a presence in the mid-range 5G market, and we can expect by the end of March, with the production forecast being 30 million units. There have been rumors here and there on the redesign saying that it could look like the iPhone XR uh, with Touch ID and the power button, but uh, the problem is when you get Minchi Kuo saying that it'll feature a similar design to the iPhone 8 again. That includes a 4.7 inch LCD display, Touch ID and the home button, and uh, 2014 bezels. And if you're wondering what happened to the larger variant of the iPhone SE that was leaked last year. Yeah, that one is expected to come out until 2023 or later. Uh, so by March next year, the current iPhone SE will be almost two years old, and that one launched with 64 gigs of storage at a price of $399. So I don't know, for today's question, I mean, what does that 2022 iPhone SE need to bring for you to be interested? Because in my case, I mean, the price is definitely a major factor, but I don't like the fact that the chip is capable of better photos than that phone takes. So that would be a major deal for me, but that's again, just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you wanna get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media, so our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles uh, to see me. Uh, oh, this is day one of tanning. I I'll get some more. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.